So apparently Mike Tyson issued a brutal warning after watching um Jake Paul training videos. And yeah, we're going to check it out, see what we had to say. And also, please, if you're new here or been here before, like, subscribe, comment, and let's get it. Bro, for his age, Mike Tyson might be the ultimate Mike like, Tyson athlete. has finally reacted to the recently leaked training footage of Jake Paul, and it appears that Tyson has a serious message for Paul. Jake Paul's the only white boy I know that the white boys hate. I, I <laughs> actually gained a lot of respect when we sat down with Jake. I yeah. respect him. He's doing his job. He's putting on his, his, his shine. This is act. This He's is trolling job. people. His job yeah. is to f*** yeah, people off, you, right? I mean, you would it'd be big. Jake Paul the yeah, out. Listen, they're, they're not real fighters. They're exciting fighters. So we know that Tyson and Paul are set to. Hey, if Mike Tyson say it, it gotta be true. <laughs> Who gonna disagree with him? Let's be honest. You gonna tell him knowing his face? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Engage in combat at the esteemed okay. AT and T Stadium, located in Arlington, Texas, and reacting to the fight. Derek Chisora said on Radio Rahim, "I know for a fact they are using 18 ounce gloves and head guards, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. So we're watching a sparring match. It's a f joke. You think I'm paying to watch that? On the other hand." Paul has recently Shit. released a video responding to the backlash surrounding his bout with Tyson. He said, you're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? As you can see, Paul questioned why people would be upset with him for taking on Mike Tyson in the ring. Let's be honest, because you're <laughs> Jake Paul. Like, no one's taking you seriously, that's why. <laughs> no one's mad at you for fighting Mike Tyson. It's just the fact that you're you is the reason why people are not taking you seriously. He illustrated his point by posing a hypothetical scenario. Oh, you're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? Imagine this. Is that CGI? That tiger does not look real. Oh, you're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? Imagine this. Jake, we got the biggest deal ever. You versus Mike Tyson. Live on Netflix. You're going to entertain millions of people and make an unbelievable amount of money. What do you think? Nah. Exactly. That's what I thought. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson has expressed his anticipation for the match against Paul, stating he is very much looking forward to the bout. In addition, Mike Tyson has leaked new sparring and training footage of himself. Scary. Bro, all I need is one hook and I'm done. Straight ER, straight ICU, straight, bro, I need a tube down my throat, bro, like everything. <laughs> Bro, you, you hear the sound of that? Like, it's only gunshots, bro. Off the pads. Moreover, Tyson Jesus acknowledged Paul's Christ. considerable growth as a boxer over the years and expressed enthusiasm about the clash between the younger fighter's will and ambition and his own experience and skill. Tyson added, it's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch. As I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones, and now I plan to finish him. Meanwhile, Please Paul do. acknowledged Tyson's status as the greatest heavyweight of all time and the most vicious knockout artist ever. However, he emphasized his own advantages, noting that he is younger, faster, and committed to working extremely hard to become stronger. He said, he's the greatest heavyweight of all time, the most vicious KO artist ever, Max. but I'm younger, I'm faster, and I'm going to be working my ass off to get stronger. Jake Paul also mentioned that a team member had shown him a video posted by Tyson's coach two weeks prior, questioning whether he was certain about proceeding with the fight. Paul affirmed his decision, reiterating his readiness and determination to compete in the heavyweight category. Paul, not the face tat. <laughs> Wait, this might know how to troll. His decision, oh my God, reiterating bro. his readiness and we determination can't take him seriously. to compete in the heavyweight category. Paul added, a member of my team sent me this video that Mike's coach put up two weeks ago and asked me if I'm sure that I want to do this. Yes, yes, I do. Heavyweight. In addition, Paul also shared his intense training footage. Train harder. Say what? Nobody cares. On the other hand, KSI finds Jake Paul's actions unimpressive. Tyson symbolizes a resurgence for Paul amidst
but yeah, so just like that's what I'm saying. If, he, if Jake Paul had to struggle with KSI out of, out of all people, what what make him think like he's gonna land anything on Mike Tyson? What makes you think that he's able to take a punch from Mike Tyson? Like you feel me? I I, I think Mike Tyson might finish him in one round. But who knows? They might have a deal like, hey, let's make it three rounds. Not too fast. We need the viewership. We need, you know, the commercial, like all that extra stuff. So, yeah, you never know what type of deal they got. Ongoing scrutiny for choosing opponents past their prime in MMA. While his recent matches involved journeyman boxers and smaller venues compared to his earlier bouts, facing Tyson promises a significant shift in scale and challenge. KSI said, honestly, I just think it's sad. I think it's super sad. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Literally, he knocks out Mike Tyson and he's beaten what? An old age person? Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Yes, in his prime, this would have been crazy. But now it's like, this is just sad. KSI yeah. elaborated. It's kind of it's kind of like you're taking advantage of the elderly, basically. But Mike Tyson is not like your normal, like ordinary person. Like, you feel me? He's Mike Tyson. Like... <laughs> Jake were to knock out Mike Tyson, he would merely be defeating someone of advanced age, highlighting that Tyson is 57 years old. And while formidable in his prime, the current scenario is different. KSI further added, he's going to have so many people watching, millions and millions. Everyone is going to know him as the guy who knocked out an old Mike Tyson. But imagine if he gets knocked out by Mike Tyson. Odds makers appear to dismiss the likelihood of such a scenario. Hmm. Tyson finds himself heavily favored against Paul. This poses a significant concern for KSI as it underscores the purely theatrical nature of this event. KSI stated, I guess because legacy is my thing, I just feel like for Jake Paul, his legacy is going to be, he can knock out old people. What's next though? Who is he going to fight next, Muhammad Ali? Is he going to <laughs> dig him up? In his discussion with KSI, Badass. Jake's brother Logan Paul mentioned that he'd been approached for a boxing match against Tyson as well, albeit not for the same lucrative deal Jake Paul was offered on Netflix. He hinted that the substantial financial gain made it an obvious choice for his brother. I'm sure you have some opinions about Jake Paul. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Tyson is 57 years old. Honestly, I just think it's sad, bro. I don't know why Jake took it. It's a lose-lose. Everyone's gonna know him as the guy. <laughs> That knocked out on all Mike Tyson. At his age, yeah. you get hit by one solid Turn Jake Paul prune, punch. Prune juice. Your prune juice. <laughs> Facts. I'm saying, like, punch from Mike Tyson, bro, is like a sledgehammer, bro. That shit is not normal. It's not normal. That's the sound it's of it. It's Mike Tyson. Anything can happen. Jake could literally walk out without an ear. Like, bro, <laughs> the funny thing is, if I know oh God. me. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I said, nah. Not enough ears? No, I'm <laughs> However, KSI had a different perspective oh on the matter. God. A feud of epic proportions persists between Jake Paul and KSI, deeply rooted in their involvement within the boxing realm. Whereas Paul strives for acknowledgement within conventional boxing circles, KSI fully embraces the influencer boxing sphere, going as far as establishing his own Misfits boxing promotion. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson shared a glimpse of his gym training Damn. sessions, marking his return to the ring. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Decades may have passed since the 57. Bro, imagine if Mike Tyson like miscalculate and like just like graze the pad guy. Oh my. That's a lot of trust they give to Mike Tyson, though. So for him to be, to be swaying that close to my face, yeah, I'm going to need, like, six figures, bro. <laughs> Just in case. old boxer Tyson ruled the ring, yet his iconic status persists, cherished by millions of fans globally. The buzz surrounding his comeback has escalated with the release of a new training clip. <laughs> In the recently unearthed video, the ex-six-time world heavyweight champion exuded dominance as he unleashed powerful punches, sustaining an admirable rhythm throughout. Displaying his seasoned expertise from 58 fights, he appeared in top form, delivering a captivating performance for the lens. Mike, what a legend, bro. Bro, he's this age, right? And he's a weed enthusiast. And look at, bro, like, like, come on, bro. Like, what other plan? Like, feel me? Like, bro, weed is, a me is, is medicine, bro. Ain't no other 57 year moving like this, bro. 
I'm telling you, weed is a way to life, bro. I'm telling you, it helps you. Dude said, smoke is bad for you, this and that. Look at that. 57. Come on, bro. As Tyson approaches his 58th birthday, his remarkable physical condition deserves recognition. However, stepping into the ring against someone 30 years his junior like Paul presents challenges far beyond mere workouts on the punching bag. However, experts express their apprehension for Tyson's safety should he proceed with the bout in Las Vegas. Frank Warren, Tyson- Yeah, that's a good thing to think about too. You gotta make sure like his tests, his everything is like good because like you don't want like off a bit like a heart attack or like, you know, like something that he's up there in age. You don't want him to take like a liver shot and it kind of like, you know, I don't know. Tyson's ex-promoter has recently reiterated the sentiment. Warren has made it clear that he opposes Tyson's return to boxing. In an interview with TalkSport, Frank Warren emphasized his stance, stating, First of all, I like Jake Paul. I like him a lot. He's a great promoter and he's done well for a guy that's come from his background. But a 58-year-old man. What background? Bro, he was on Disney Channel. <laughs> Like, what are you making seem like he come from the slums? Oh, I'm proud of him for where he come from his background. Bro, he been rich his whole life. What are you talking about? He was on Disney Channel. I think either him or his brother, or even both. Like, what? They been had money. And do me a favor. Warren expressed reservations about the match involving a 58-year-old man, referring to Tyson, suggesting that such a bout should not be occurring. He also commented on the surprising developments in the current era and the substantial earnings generated by such events. Warren added, It shouldn't be happening. Having said that some of the stuff that comes on in this day and age, I can't believe how it's coming about. But it does, and these guys earn a lot of money from it. He conceded that if the fight is adequately medically supervised and staffed with competent officials to ensure the fighter's safety, he wouldn't outright criticize it. Despite this, he Shit. made it clear that personally, he has no interest in the fight. Warren further added, If it's properly medically supervised and they've got some decent officials in there, and at times they can be protected from themselves, then who am I to criticize it? But for me, it's not something I have any interest in whatsoever. Meanwhile, former UFC star Nate Diaz was quick to predict the outcome of the upcoming boxing match between Tyson and Paul. Despite- an Let me let me guess, he does gonna deride Jake Paul. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Initially dismissing the question with, I don't give a f he later told Inside Fighting that he believes Tyson will be the one to have his arm raised in victory at the end. Oh, okay. I'm just saying because- Jake Paul, if I'm not mistaken, beat his ass. I, I thought he was going to side with Jake Paul just because Jake Paul beat him. So, I don't know. But, I Unbiased opinion. We like it. We like it. In the press release announcing the fight, Paul's manager, Nakisa Badarian, made a statement regarding the upcoming bout between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. He described the match as a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup and expressed hopes that it would become the most watched boxing event in modern history. Badarian stated, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is a once-in-a-lifetime dream matchup and we hope it will be the most watched boxing event in modern boxing history. Additionally, Badarian mentioned the partnership mm. with Netflix as a unique chance to broadcast the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson fight globally on an unprecedented scale. He went on to emphasize their commitment to delivering the significant clash between two of the biggest names in sports. He added, partnering with Netflix presents an unparalleled opportunity to bring Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson to the world on an unprecedented scale. And we look forward to delivering this incredible clash of two of sport's biggest names. It's Overall, a, this is a lot of hype. I just hope it live up to the hype and whatnot. I just glad it's on Netflix and that I don't have to like pay for it, pay for it. But yeah. As the fight date approaches, all eyes will be on AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, where the contrasting paths of Tyson and Paul will collide in what promises to be one of the most intriguing and debated events in recent boxing history. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. Like he said, if you enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts about this fight. And yeah, have a blessed day. See you for the next one.